Welcome aboard, space travelers. This is episode 50 of the Mouseport Podcast. This week, it's a clip show. Come along through the Mouseport. Welcome to the Mouseport Podcast. Over the past 50 episodes, we've been your passport to Walt Disney World and everything Disney related. So we've brought you lots of newsport along with a range of different topics and episodes from Star Wars to Bacon, which pretty much covers everything important, food and wine to cabanas. Here's a clip show full of all the things that you didn't get to hear. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I had this plan for a clip show. So here we are. <laughs> Mark, I told Kate that I have, like, from sporadic episodes, I usually like, cut, obviously cut stuff out and cut off, like, all the stuff. My thing starts recording once you jump on the call. Like, once all three are on there, it just starts recording. Yeah. So I have all that random stuff that I cut it out. But I would save it in case I need, like, a word or two to, like, fix and just to have, like, funny stuff. <laughs> well, so. we'll make a... A best of anger. Uh, literally, I'll like, make like a. Oh my God. I'll make a. Cl- I'll make a clip episode and be like, so <laughs> this is what happens when I'm editing, and this is what gets left out. <laughs> the cutting room floor. We talk about a lot of food on Mouseport, and as Kate once said, this will not be a vegan show. Because you know we have a large vegan audience. You know. Yeah, Miss Pig. <laughs> Yeah. You mm-hmm. love every part of the pig. I love all animals <laughs> except for seafood. See, to me, the best thing about going to a, like a character breakfast buffet is like I can eat my weight in bacon. Yeah. The best bacon I ever had was at Kona Cafe for breakfast. Ooh, that sounds amazing. All bacon's the same. I love it. Bacon is just so great, but I I love everything from a pig. It's like when they when they ask you like if you're at a restaurant you're ordering a cheeseburger and they they're like do you want bacon on it? It's like I want bacon on everything actually. Like, what See kind of ice cream sundae? What the hell do I look like? Yeah. See this ice cream sundae? Bacon. See that mac and cheese over there? Bacon. See this toast? Bacon. <laughs> Just put bacon on all. <laughs> Good. I'm glad that I'm actively going to be participating in a podcast about episode about bacon. We can do the best meat around the world. <laughs> Nothing beats my meat. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> magic meat. <laughs> the magical meat mouse. The I hope your wife wore it. And she's like, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> we, it has to be called meat port. <laughs> <laughs> meat port. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> this week in the meat, in the meat port. <laughs> Do you think meat ports or meat? What? This will not be a vegan show. <laughs> Seriously. This is the meat pork show. It's not the vegan show. <laughs> like, look at, look at here, hippies. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you say that, Mark, I instantly think of the army general from Cars, like the Jeep. <laughs> He's like, turn down that music, you hippies. Like, but it's a classic. It's Hendrix, man. <laughs> I just don't need to watch that one. I love Wait, have cars. You never seen so Cars? Now I'm just gonna be thinking about. Meat. Yep. I can't wait <laughs> to think meat. about my meat. Meat and wine. <laughs> mm. uh, the wine and meat, the beef and wine festival. Meat, meat and juice. Yes. Not gin and juice. Meat and juice. No, and not F and G's either. <laughs> oh my gosh. F and G's got gin and juice this year. <laughs> my, rapping, my rapper name is going to be organic, but it's going to be in quotes. <laughs> <laughs> The, the or, organic F and G. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. In case you forgot, here's where Booths versus Booze came from. And when we get more details about Booths, I'm sure we'll do an episode about all the new Booths and everything. Just about Booths. <laughs> <laughs> episode number blank. Booths. Just Booths. <laughs> Are you saying Booze or Booths? Booths. <laughs> Because I think Kate, I think, is saying booths as in the 
the makeshift building you buy food. Yes. And I think you are saying booze as in what you do, you know. At the booths. <laughs> at the booths. <laughs> Multiple booths and boozes. <laughs> I think it'll have to be a dual show. <laughs> booths versus booze. <laughs> Sometimes I get editing directions from Mark. <laughs> I'm going to laugh probably about land harvested field greens for a while. It's just so, so weird. Oh, my God. I I saw that and I was like, I hope they understand how ridiculous this is because I was crying laughing. Oh like, I, I would seriously want to mess with the person at the booth and just be like, all right, so – it's land harvested. I'm not okay with land harvested. Do you have any other types of field greens that, that I could possibly have? So I, I would just have to. Right? I'd be like, so, you say land harvested field greens, eh? Are you sure they're from a field? Are these genetically modified fields? What's going on? Like, what field are these from? <laughs> yeah. Do you have a map to its location? <laughs> and what's with organic in quotations? It's like jerk. <laughs> It's Germany. They they do nothing organic. It's all processed and salty. Yeah, they're like, sorry, we tried really hard. This, we put organic because it's as close as we could possibly. Yeah. Well, wasn't organic in quotes? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like <laughs> it, it's like low sodium is organic in Germany. Yeah, you can take out my. That's what she said. If you really need to. <laughs> oh no, no, you gotta leave that in. <laughs> One time we were randomly talking about the Harry Potter movies, and then we find out how old Kate and Mark really are. <laughs> We went to see the first movie in theaters as like a school field trip because nine eleven happened and we couldn't go very far and they were like whatever. So they brought us to the movie theater and thinking back on it now, like wait, what grade were you in for nine eleven? Sixth grade. Oh my god, I was in college. Damn, I was two. <laughs> no, I was in six. Grade. I was a freshman in college. I was. It was September of sixth grade. Good night. <laughs> WTF, Mark. <laughs> All right. I, I had a kid say whatever the other day. I was like, you guys still say that? Did he do the hand motion? <laughs> no, I asked. I was like, do, do you make the W with the hands? Like, no. I was like, right, <laughs> that's, that's girl thing. lame. Yeah, I'd be like, that, if you're going like, to say whatever, you have to you have to physically I did it at work it. today. <laughs> but we were talking about us when we were in our teens. We know Magbag is well-versed in alcohol, and Mark doesn't drink too much, but is Mark's son, Cal, a big drinker? <laughs> Do you even drink at the parks? Yeah, see, all mine are at resorts, because at the resorts, I will, if we're yeah. hanging out. But, no, I mean, if we're if we're walking around Hollywood Studios, I'm not going into, like, tune-in lounge. Um, especially because Jenny doesn't really drink much, and, you know, Cal doesn't drink much either. Well, we we did agree to that booze cruise. Well, we're all going on a Disney cruise. Don't worry. And we'll make You're... fish extenders, and it'll be awesome. Kate's treat. I'm so excited right. about fish extenders. <laughs> I'm just excited about Kate paying for our cruise. Ooh, booze cruise. <laughs> the booze cruise. Mark also agreed that New England Patriot Rob Gronkowski is an attractive dude, and sometimes we talk about sports. Do you know who Rob Gronkowski is? Yeah, he he's from my hometown actually. There's a um a gym or a like a gym fitness center chain in Western New York, G and G Fitness, that his family owns. Gronk, he is so attractive. Holy crap! Yeah, he's a good looking dude. He is a good looking dude. I'm okay saying that. <laughs> His recording. brother's not so much, but... And gave me some relationship advice. He's never been to Florida. Don't possess. I'm not dating him! He just assumes... He just like, is obsessed with me and thinks that I'm his girlfriend. He wants it really bad. Look, if this guy, like, stalks you and kills you, who's going to edit our show? That's right. We love animals on this show. We care about cats with chemo and what nationality our dogs are. We also love and miss our sweet cheese sauce. This is might be a dumb question, but do cats lose their hair with chemo? No. Oh my gosh, they I was just little, thinking give, that. I asked that. They give them a little pill. They might lose a whisker or two, but that's it. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I was just cool. thinking, like, can I, can I ask that question or should I just Google it? No, I, I thought, was thinking, we thought like, the same thing. We're like, Minnie's going to look weird if she loses her hair. <laughs> well, there are hairless cats and they're, like, some of them are cute. I know, but they're ugly. Them are horrifying. <laughs> oh, those, those are 
I feel bad for those cats because those are the most disturbing things. Well, does the Haunted Mansion count as American because it happened here? I don't think so. The movie Ooh. happened here. <laughs> is where is Moana set? That's random, but I is it American? Isn't it, it's Hawaii. Hawaii. Isn't okay, it? I was say Hawaii, or is it like an actual like South, South Pacific island? But well, technically Hawaii is too. But I mean the string of, of all of them. All right. Well, that's another American thing coming. Yay, Moana! And the, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, of course. I saw a Zoom Zoom that looked like him the other day on fa- on Twitter, and I was like, uh... It was supposed to be Gaston, and I go, no, that's Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Zoom Zoom. Dogs are American. Yep, that's my big dog. He's... Actually, he's from Mexico, and my other dog's from Thailand, so... Neither are American. <laughs> my, my dog's all America. American dog. Like hot dogs, right? Mmm. Mmm, hot dogs. Yeah, I want a hot dog really bad now. Thank you. So- well, the second you mentioned it, I was like, damn. <laughs> but not from Casey's. Their hot dogs are gross. Just the corn dog nuggets are acceptable. Yeah, they were good with cheese sauce on them. Oh, but. my gosh. R.I.P. cheese sauce. Sometimes our animals make noise in the background of our recordings. We just deal with it. Like Mark deals without having a basement. You guys can't hear my cat screaming in the basement, right? Nope. Okay, cool. You put your cat in the basement? Well, he's annoying. If he's in here with me, he'll be screaming, and he's just annoying. Minnie's in here with me, but she's quiet. <laughs> she's the quiet one, so we like her. Basement. We don't have basements in the South. Really? Oh, that's nope. right. No, it, the furthest South we saw basements when we were looking to move from Western New York was, like, Kentucky. When you're really serious about your fast passes. Guess what I'm doing tonight at midnight. Faking your fast passes. <laughs> hey, I don't fake. Oh my god. you say fake or making? I said making. I oh, didn't I say you said... faking. Yeah, I was like, oh. wow, you think I'm that mean? <laughs> Also, you, yes. you think that we think you wake up in the middle of the night just to pretend to, like, wake up on time to fake fast passes? Like, we know that you're crazy, yeah. but, like, I don't think you're that crazy. Kate has always given us the cast member inside scoop. Oh, my God. I just looked up what Happy Mondays is. Uh, I'm disappointed you didn't have it on my program. What is it? Now I want to know. <laughs> Happy Mondays is a flip cup tournament where different countries play against each other and let's just say that it's some serious shit. <laughs> Whoa, I want to play international flip cup. <laughs> that sounds awesome. I'm just going to leave this one here. Everybody here? Uh, yeah. I'm here. Okay. Kate, okay, can you hear me? Yep. Okay, because you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, snob. <laughs> Star Wars is important to some of us on the show, so when this happened, it needed to be shared. Can I tell you guys something? Um, no, yes. I saw Star Wars again yes- well, I saw Star Wars again yesterday, yesterday afternoon at four fifteen, and I kept checking Fandango, being like, "Oh my god, I might be the only person in this whole theater." Like, sweet. It was like a, a dining theater too. I was like going to get food and drinks. I was like, sweet. Like, it's just going to be me. And so I go in and I pick like my seat and I was like, all right, cool. It was like on the aisle. It was like second row from like the split in the rest, like the front of the theater and the back of the theater, whatever. So I have this perfect seat. Sit in my seat and there's, it's two sets of two in a row. So there's like my seat and my partner's seat, which was empty. And then the next one is like another set of two. In the other set of two, there was a dad and his nine year old daughter. I was like, okay. I guess it's cool that in the entire theater they picked my freaking row, but whatever. I was like, I'm just going to deal with it. There's still space. I'm going to eat my food, whatever, fine. The row behind me, which is like the last row before the back of the theater, like, started, dad sits directly behind my chair. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then his three kids fill in the rest of the row. I'm like, all right, as long as they're not freaking out and being loud, I don't care. I got my food, got my drinks, cool. And then... Just as, like, the lights go down and the movie's actually, like, about to start and you see, like, a galaxy a long, long time ago, whatever, fine. The mom sits in the empty seat next to me. It makes it super awkward. 
That's really funny, actually. It it's was. Like, I was sitting there like drinking alcohol, like a eating Night Live tons skit. of food. Dude, it was awful. He's the dad's like, there's only four in a row, and she's like, are you kidding? And then she like sat next to me, so I have all this food, all these drinks in front of me, like lounging back, doing my thing. She pulls out like a little bag of peanuts from her bag and starts eating them. I'm like, okay, well, this is awful. I'm drinking like actual hard liquor next to your kids, but sure. And then she starts laughing at like the weirdest parts. Like, you know the part when Chewie, like, got hurt and he's, like, in the Millennium Falcon and he's trying to get bandaged up and then BB-8 rolls over and Chewie's like, blah, and, like, BB-8 rolls away? This lady at that part literally slapped her leg and goes, ha, like, laughing hysterically. She goes, that Chewie. I'm like, I'm going to punch this lady. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. It was awful. I was st- so upset. You should have stabbed her with so- a fork. I was so mad. Right I was in the like, leg. you should have moved. I go, my plan was to move because she sat down when I had my drink, but I didn't have my food yet. So I was like, oh, if I move now, then I can like have the guy bring my food to my seat. Or when he gets here, I'll just say, can you just put it like the next row up and I'll sit over there? So as I'm getting ready to like make this plan to move, he literally comes up, drops my food on my tray and like runs off. I'm like, and there's like more than one plate. So like I couldn't carry them. Like, them and my drink, and, like, without making, like, three or four trips and looking really awkward. And I was like, great. So I'm stuck next to this lady for the whole movie. And it was just, it was so bad. Sometimes Mark's history teacher comes out randomly, but more often he's being a snob when it comes to resorts. But we do miss him occasionally when he's not around. He likes Disney World enough that she worked there. <laughs> Yeah. On purpose. <laughs> like, went out of as, her way as, to make sure that she worked there. On purpose, as opposed to so slave labor? <laughs> well, some people who live in Central Florida don't want to work at Disney, but they have to because it's, like, the job that they got and it's, like, near their house and stuff. It's still a choice. <laughs> uh, it's not like she, she was sold sure into it. <laughs> wow, well, Mr. South didn't Carolina. <laughs> hey, look. West Virginia had slaves longer than South Carolina did. Yeah, so. but John Brown tried to free them. That's who yeah, I Yeah, John Brown was a freaking maniac. So don't yeah. say that. I live down the street from where he was hung. <laughs> I read a lot hang. about Elizabeth there the other whatever, day. Whatever, whatever. No, because if you hung. say if you say hung, you're talking about like the size of his testicles, which oh, you hanged know. is the correct term. <laughs> like, yeah, that's <laughs> John John Brown was hung. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Are you just like that TV right show? <laughs> we stayed at Riverside. That is not the luck. Uh, it is for me. Moderate. We we slumbed it. <laughs> <laughs> you need to put that in. <laughs> oh my gosh! As of right now, when we go for wine and dine, we're staying at Art of Animation. I've always wanted to stay there. Same. If we don't have Rowdy Row Cabins, we could have sweets next to each other. Yeah, I've heard their food court's good. Yeah. It is. We, we, we've stayed there twice before. Of course you have. Yeah. We missed you last week. No, you didn't. We were civil to each other. We need you for the drama. <laughs> right, because I'm the one who makes the drama. Kate can occasionally be mean, but Mark straight up calls her the B word on tape. There, there is no way around it, Kate. You're just mean. That's okay, though. That's okay. I've been like that my whole life. I was a bully. <laughs> you're another B-word, too. <gasps> Whoa. What? what? Oh. If I knew no. your middle name, I would no. say it right now. Save this, Magbag. You need to say It's this. already being recorded. No. <laughs> no, stop it. That's not the word I meant. I meant a... A beautiful young lady. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my gosh. The word he was looking for was brilliant. He just is too ashamed to say that, it. Yeah, brilliant. I... You're brilliant. I sorry I get mean. You just bring it out of me. You are mean, but it's okay. I'm I'm used to it. Because the... <laughs> yeah, the past like three weeks, it's been like the climb from the beginning of Expedition Everest to like the top, and now I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Now we're going to go backwards and Kate's going to, like, freak out. <laughs> and I don't know what's going to happen. That's right. I'm going to go cry now. I'm like... If I do every Wednesday night, I cry really myself like a... to sleep. Well, we hope you enjoyed some behind-the-scenes clips. And thank you for listening to 50 episodes. All right. Why don't we tell them where they can find us? 
You can find me at Yoho Yoho Blogger on Twitter. My blog is Yoho Yoho Bloggers Life for Me dot blogspot dot com and our email is mousepartpodcast at gmail dot com. You can find me on Twitter at MegVeg and at underscore MegVeg on Instagram. We're all on Facebook at Facebook.com slash groups slash Mouseport. And we're all on Twitter at MouseportCast. You can find me on the Twitter at BayLakeNemo and on Instagram and Borowick11. Our website is Mouseport.tumblr.com. And don't forget to check us out. Give us a review on iTunes. We're also on Stitcher and Google Play. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye-bye now. <laughs>